So guys, let me do a test here before I get started. Check my audio. Yes, I have audio. Guys, let me do a test here. There we go. So uh, let's get started here. I hope you're going to be able to hear me with the with the uh, bike going. Hopefully you can hear me and uh, everything's loud and clear. So, first of all, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking to buy the beat down here on this hump day morning. Uh, just decided to do a live stream. I don't know why. I don't typically do this. Figured why not? It'll be roughly 30 minutes. That's what I spend is 30 minutes. Hopefully you can hear me. If anyone tunes in, typically in my live streams I don't get a lot of views or anything, you know, a lot of action, but hey, you never know. So I know a lot of a lot of people are on their way to work right now. I just got home from my morning bus route, so a lot of us are on different schedules and doing different things. So, of course, uh, I always spend before I eat breakfast. There's those random times where I might come home from my morning route and eat breakfast first and then spin, but that don't happen very often. Sometimes I'm just really hungry. And uh, oddly enough, this morning I'm pretty hungry. So, uh, I guess we'll get to start with a kind of a topic of uh, what's next for the body beatdown. Uh, that means pretty much the channel and uh, what's next so uh, I've brought it up in the past you know periodically I've brought it up in the past that you know we don't know how long these channels will go and, you know sometimes you're done you just feel like you're done there ain't much more you can do and then you move on to maybe creating different content or whatever the case I've mentioned it a few times in the past, not very often. I love my channel. I love doing what I do. But, you know, I, I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing these type of videos and making that priority. I don't know. Uh, also, in the past, I've mentioned a few times that when I started working out again, in uh, early 2021 that I really initially started out wanting to not just do some weight training but I wanted to do some different types of training and uh, I've never told people I've never mentioned what the different type of training is because I kind of wanted to keep it to myself as kind of a channel surprise you know a reveal, I guess, you know, hey, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this, and I'm going to do that. But I'll go ahead and tell you now that initially I started out uh, wanting to get a heavy bag, which I finally got one a few months back, and uh, I hit it once a week. So I wanted to get a heavy bag. I wanted to do... I wanted to get a tire so I could do some tire flips and stuff. And I thought about getting uh, some smaller tires, like normal car, car tires, a couple of them, and just doing like some tire tosses. Uh, I thought about getting maybe a kettlebell and doing some kettlebell. I don't know if, it, if anyone else ever does that, but I, I was thinking 
doing like kettlebell tosses, you know, just throwing stuff in the air. Stuff like that. Uh, jump ropes, battle rope, just different kind of things is what I really initially wanted to do in the very beginning. Because for years off and on, from the 90s until, you know, I started working out again, you know, it was always the same kind of training that I've always done. Just regular weights. And uh, now I did have a heavy bag and a speed bag at one time. Uh, from about 2007 to 2010, something like that. And I did utilize them. I used them quite a lot. But other than that, I always just kind of did your normal weight training. So, those things, uh, I kind of wanted to let you know, finally, after all this time, you know, there was different things that I really wanted to put into my, into my channel. And, uh, you know, if I keep this channel going, I think that that's the route that I need to take and, and mix more things in. Because, let's face it, you know, how many times can you watch me bench, oh, you know, whatever. How many times can you watch me squat, whatever. How many times can you watch me deadlift, whatever. How many times can you watch me shoulder press, whatever. How many times can you watch me curl? How many times can you watch me work my triceps? Etc. Etc. And you know, even I experience that with other channels. Is how many times can I watch this person do the same thing and do the same thing and do the same thing? You know, I put a lot of time, not just into my YouTube channel, but I put a lot of time into everyone that I'm subscribed to. I give your videos views. Now, if you're doing hour-long, two-hour-long videos or something, there's a good chance I'm going to skip, do some skipping through, and watch parts. Hello, Runner Boy. How you doing? Just kind of talking about maybe the plans of the channel, uh, what I'm going to do uh, at some point. I don't know if you heard in the very beginning. I just kind of started talking about some things that... Uh, I wanted to implement into my training from the very beginning and I didn't. I don't know if you remember, but you may have heard some videos where I've talked about, I didn't tell you, but I talked about that I wanted to do some different training from the very beginning. Well, in the beginning of this video, I'll kind of tell you exactly what I wanted to do. I won't make you go back and, and watch the the beginning of this to tell you I wanted to do a lot more different styles of training along with the heavy bag. I wanted to jump rope. I wanted to do get a big tire, flip a tire and get smaller tires and throw some tires and do some different just some different stuff. Battle ropes and I, I don't know if I mentioned it just now. I wanted to do some different stuff and uh, I've not really implemented in the, any of that into my channel. Lunchtime for you? Yeah, you're a little bit ahead. But I haven't had breakfast yet. I'll have breakfast after I spin. So, you know, I'm just talking about how long do we go on with our channels and how, how many times can we do the same things over and over. And uh, also watching other channels, how many times, you know, because we experience that as well, you know, we're watching people do the, pretty much the same stuff over and over and over and how much time we put into it. Like I mentioned, I watch, if I'm subscribed to your channel, I'm watching your videos. I'm trying to give you a thumbs up, I'm trying to give you a comment, even if it's just something short and sweet. Good job, nice workout, fantastic, neat, cool, whatever. Uh, I try to give you... I try to give everybody watch time and a comment and a, a thumbs up. Uh, but you know, how how long do we keep doing this? I don't know. You know, like I said, you can only watch me bench press so much and squat so much and deadlift so much. And, you know, there comes a time I think when. 
maybe we need to implement some new things and uh, or shut the channel down or or just keep doing the same things. I don't know. Again, I've you know I don't have a lot more to share. Probably I don't. I probably don't have a lot more to share as far as my main all my main lifts are concerned because I've reached all my goals and I don't know how much more I'm wanting to dedicate to those goals, you know, to make more goals and, and all that. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, of course, uh, if you watch my channel enough, you know I really don't do a lot of live streams. I just don't. I don't like talking that much. I do a lot of talking. You know, I've, I've watched a lot of your live streams, and you're you don't talk a whole lot. And for me, uh, I feel like I got to talk, and uh, and that kind of throws me off my game sometimes if I'm trying to work out and trying to talk too much because I like to interact with people. You know. And it, that could be an age thing. I'm an older guy, and older guys like to talk, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I just like to uh, engage a little bit too much. A few muted. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's interesting in some ways. John McBean has done a few of those uh, silent videos as well. I still watch them. Like I said, I try to watch everybody's content. And uh, I probably support all the channels that I'm subscribed to. I probably support you guys more than anyone else. And you're lucky, I guess, because my job allows me to have that time. And I'm willing to put in the time to the people I'm subscribed to because I you know, I figure that's why we're subscribed, is we're wanting to watch the content. So, uh, social media is weird. A lot of times, say like Facebook or something, uh, you'll friend somebody, and you really don't even communicate, you don't really do anything, you're just on someone's friends list. Why? You know? I've unfriended so many people on Facebook, I can't even count it. Uh, there's no way to even to make a guess. A thousand people, maybe, that I've un that I've unfollowed or uh, unfriended on Facebook, just because you know it's just random people. Don't know. We don't. We don't really have nothing in common. Or if we did have something in common, maybe it just was for a short time and then you didn't really communicate anymore. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's the same same way for me. You know, I've unsubscribed on YouTube to several channels over the years because like maybe they quit putting out content or they only put out one video every six months or or maybe I'm putting in a lot of time on their channel, always commenting, you know, watching, thumbs up, and they don't really give me the time. You know, I think after a little while of seeing people put in time and effort on your channel, you should check out their channel and see what they're offering, if they have anything, and maybe, you know, help them out, give them some, uh, some watch time and see what they're doing. That's kind of what social media should be about. So, at this point, you know, I've been going on this channel strong since about October or November, probably September, October, something like that of 2021. Before then, I was still on my other main channel that I have. Uh, that I don't really promote here. 
number one, I don't want people over there. Some people, so I try not to try not to say too much about that channel. And hopefully my live stream is okay. It looks like I got something popping up there, which don't surprise me. So I hope that my live stream is still going. Oh, nice. Uh, see you later, Ronan Boy. I appreciate you. So, anyway, for those of you tuning in at any point in time in the, in the live stream, uh, just kind of talking about what are my plans for the channel. Uh, do I want to keep doing the same old same, or do I do some different things concerning health and fitness or, that I had, I had plans to do in the beginning? It's kind of a, it's a tricky situation sometimes because, you know, some people like what you're doing and some people might want more, so you're not sure what you should do, what you should change up. So, anyhow, uh, as for today, uh, we're still on target, we're still on our normal training. Today I'll be doing kind of an odd combination, I guess, maybe. I'm uh, going to be doing uh, biceps and shoulders. Technically traps. I'm just going to do some shrugs. I just classify traps and shoulders as the same thing I always have. And, uh, I just like to kind of clear that up once in a while. Michael, you're not doing shoulders. You're doing traps. Well, I know. But I kind of put all that together with one thing. So, uh, so today it's just going to be some six sets of some sitting easy bar lap curls and it's going to be uh, some barbell shrugs that's it giving myself say i did legs yesterday and uh, i'm going to give myself today to not do anything with legs that means squats or deadlifts or anything like that so today is just kind of giving me a break between all that and then tomorrow i'll do my deadlifts and then, of course, uh, of course, Fridays is my second chest day. So, yeah, so today's bicep and traps, shoulders. Tomorrow's deadlifts, Thursday. And then Friday is uh, my second chest day. So, and yesterday, as I was working out, doing my legs, I kind of made the decision that next week, I'm going to have a whole week of just real light, quick, easy workouts, uh, give myself kind of a break, because I go five days a week. Working out hard and heavy, five days a week, five days a week, five days a week. I'm not just laying down and bench pressing, I'm doing everything. So, five days a week of that, plus on the weekends, I go for a walk, and I hit the heavy bag. So there's a lot of, even though I get a lot of rest time, being the bus driver, there's still, you know, I still get tired. I still need rest, I, need, I still need you know, a periodical slow week, you know, an easy week or whatever. So, and uh, like I mentioned yesterday in the video, 
I know a lot of people will take a, maybe a week off. But in my humble opinion, and that's all it is, is that uh, I don't I don't think it's a good idea to completely take off. I think you just need to go really light, go through the motions, get a nice easy little workout for the you know whatever and uh, and and not take off. So that's what I'll choose to do is not take off. And, uh, so anyway, uh, a little different topic. We're in my favorite holiday season. Uh, Halloween. I love Halloween. And uh, for me, Halloween pretty much starts September 1st. Even though the weather here is still, it can still get 100 degrees. Uh, I guess it don't matter what the temperature is. It's kind of the mood the, and the, kind of what you take of it. I love Halloween. It's become one of my favorite holidays. I like Christmas. <gasps> what? An atheist likes Christmas. Yeah, I do. I like getting gifts. I like giving gifts. I like the lights. I like the decorations. I like the music. I like the movies. The cartoons. I love all that. I might not care about the reason for the season. But uh, I enjoy the family time and the foods and all the all that stuff that encompasses uh, the holiday. Thanksgiving I really don't care about. Just not a big fan of Thanksgiving. I don't like the food anymore. Matter of fact, really the only thing that I care to eat on Thanksgiving anymore is just some turkey, some mashed potatoes, and maybe some rolls. And pecan pie, if we have pecan pie. That's really it. I don't care about nothing else. And, am I the only one out of the 8, 9 billion people on the planet, am I the only one that likes to take my mashed potatoes and stuff them inside my dinner roll and eat the dinner roll, put some salt on it, and eat it. Let me know in the comments if you get this far. I like putting my turkey in my uh, mashed potatoes. Something about that I just like. The way I love the way it tastes and just, I don't know. Kind of different, but that's what I do. Even at, even if we get KFC or something like that, and my wife brings something home, which is, doesn't happen very often, but I'll take mashed potatoes and chicken and, I'll, and one of their biscuits, and I'll kind of mix it all together and eat it as such. It's something I like. I love it. What I don't like is I gotta put salt. I don't like really using salt, but stuff like that I like to I like to put some salt on. And I notice uh, another topic here. I notice in all my videos when I shoot in this room and I'm anywhere under this light, it's pretty harsh lighting, and it doesn't show my true physique. I'm really this jacked, muscled up, you know, got a flat stomach and abs and all that stuff. I'm really jacked. But this light just washes it out and makes me look like a potato. That's my excuse. So... Another topic, I guess, for discussion is live streams or doing videos and how many views we get 
or how many people pop in and take part, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think it really matters because at some point in time, someone is going to come across your videos and they're going to see it. And sometimes we don't really care if we get a whole lot of views and a whole lot of comments and a whole lot of attention on the video. Sometimes we're doing things for ourselves. I have another channel that shall remain nameless. Uh, I have another channel where I play video games and I live stream a lot of them. And I'm the only one in there. But I'm okay with that because, well, I'm getting a record of the video game. I'm getting a record of me beating the video game. And that's really, at the end of the day, all I care about on that. If people want to pop in and all that stuff, that's cool. But, uh, I like having the proof, seeing the video proof of me going through and, uh, and uh, beating some of those games that I've played. Sometimes we do things for our own self gratis satisfaction, gratitude, satisfaction, one of those words. And really, that's that's what I am with the body beatdown. If I get subscribers, if I get people taking uh, taking part in the videos, in the comments, live streams, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If I get people taking part, that's great. But First and foremost, I really do all this for myself, for being able to look and see where I started, how I've progressed or how I've degressed. It's a way for my family, my future family, people a million years from now, if this is still around, to go back and see, you know, hey, that's someone that was in my family, it's pretty cool, he does this stuff, you know. If I were to die right now, my grandkids have videos they can go watch at some point when they're interested. And not just on this channel, but my other couple of channels that I have. I have lots of videos, home videos, stuff that I've done, and pictures and stuff. So, you know, it's nice to, to, to have things, you know, for other reasons. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not just here for, uh, subscribers and all that kind of stuff I'm here for kind of some self gratification following my own journey so I think that's a good thing so we're at two minutes and 40 seconds left that's pretty good normally when I'm spinning I'm watching I'm watching a, some program or something so I'm actually on my 12th, it's either my 12th or my 13th complete go-through of Lost, the TV show Lost. Huge fan of it, have been since the day it aired in 2004, and I've watched it back to back to back to back throughout the years, and then skipped a little while, and uh, I'm at a point where I feel like I needed some Lost again. So I started it up a while back, and I'm on season three. A great show. Yeah, there's a lot of holes in the story and some things unanswered, but otherwise, a fantastic show. One of my all-time favorites ever. And, uh, I highly recommend it. And I also highly recommend going to fan groups and stuff like that on Facebook or what have you. And, and, and they can help explain things if you have any... Uh, questions. Sometimes sometimes movies and TV shows and stuff make you have to think for yourself. Maybe you want to call it lazy writing, I call it imaginative, kind of making us think a little bit. So I haven't even ate yet and I'm already full. But yet I'm hungry. I don't know. So we got one minute left, guys. One minute. Ooh. Been a good little spin. I've kept the RPMs up nice and decent this morning. Doing pretty good. So, uh, anyway, we're going to be signing off in 40 seconds. Guys, I appreciate you. Those of you that are here, those of you that pop in, those of you that have been with me a long time. 
those of you that have been with me short time or no time, I appreciate you. And uh, if you get a little inspiration from my videos, uh, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Your crazy spinning host on this hump day. With 15 seconds left. Don't forget, guys. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Have a good day. Pretend like I've already stopped the video because this is the awkward part where I gotta wait, I gotta get up and stop the video. You don't see this part. You've already tuned out. You're not here. I'm not here. This is the Matrix. See ya. Bye. See y'all. Bye.